Discover the speed secrets that will take you running to a next level. Hey, my name is Ishan Sharma. I am one of the fastest in India in my age category. My best for half marathon is one hour and eleven minutes. And I am not a professional athlete. I am doing all this along with my work and family life. And I have a community in the name of Hello Fitness, where we help working professionals, housewives, people in their sixties, their fifties, to take this running game to a next level. And we and make sure that. They stay injury free in order to enjoy this and make it a lifestyle. Training, speed well. training is really important. No matter what, uh, like time that you are running or what level you are at in your running journey, whether you are a beginner or you are at intermediate level or you are at advanced level or you are at like completely elite levels. Here, I'll walk you through five speed secrets that you can that you can add to speed up your game. So I'll walk you through step by step. First is interval training. Absolutely important. You need to add this interval training. This is. Basically, you will go in that uncomfortable zone for a few seconds. Then you will stop, and you will go in that zone again. So you are challenging your lungs, you are challenging your heart muscles while you are doing this. So in these interval, though I'll not deep dive into that. Uh, like you, if you are just starting off, even whatever level that you are at, you can add like thirty second of fast run followed by one minute of easy jog. Right and repeat it eight times, eight to ten, ten times. So these are like intervals. So those who are completely new, they can start with thirty second. And those who have some experience, they can add like one minute fast, one minute slow, or two minute fast, one minute slow, or either two minute fast, two minute slow. Right. But you need to add this, especially especially runners, those who are just starting off. You must add this. This will fix many things. See, in running, it's not just the outer body that you have to work upon. Things that you cannot see, you need to strengthen those as well. For example, you need to strengthen your inner body, your lungs, your heart, your muscles, your internal things that are there, and you need to make them efficient. So I recommend those who are new, you can start with thirty second run fast, then one minute easy jog, then start again. Total eight to ten that you can do. So that's the first thing. Moving on to next is tempo runs. So these are. Let me explain what are they. Tempo runs or the pace runs. These are like. Comfortably fast run. So comfortably fast run. These are easy to start. I mean, not too easy, but yeah, still, if we compare, they are easy to start but hard to finish. All right. So these are like comfortably hard runs or the comfortably tough runs that you will do, and you hold it for like fifteen minutes to twenty minutes. That pace. That's it. And make sure you are fulfilling purpose of each and every workout. If you expect that you run in the same way and you will get better, no, you will not get better, and maybe there is a chance that after a period of time you will. You will get injured for sure. So add this variety in your training, and you will see the difference. So second most important thing is tempo runs. See what is hard for you. Hold that pace for like fifteen to twenty minutes. Part. Moving on to next is strength training. Absolutely important. You need to strengthen those muscles. So in running. Now you know it's not just go out and run daily. If you train in that way, your running journey soon will become journey from your home to a physiotherapist or a doctor. That's what you will get. In order to change that, better add these. So, second, uh, third part is strength training. You need to strengthen like few exercises that I, that I can show you: squats that you can do, lunges that you can do. You can work on your core. Uh, you can work on your upper body as well. So, you need to add all these in your running routine. Now, moving on to next is fourth part. Uh, fourth is plyometrics. So first understand this definition. So मैं नहीं चाहता यहाँ पे कोई debate हो. हर कोई अलग-अलग कभी-कभी definition लेके आता है. So let's understand this definition. And uh, accordingly, you can do like there are many things that you can do over here. It's not just one thing. Plyometrics. So, plyometrics is a form of exercise that uses fast, powerful movements to help improve a person's speed and power when performing task or motion. So this is the definition. Of plyometrics. So here, what you can do, what I do in plyometrics, I do drills, different different kind of drills that I'll show you. So here are the drills that I am doing in this video. These are called. We also call them ABCs. Plus, apart from that, there are other plyometrics exercises as well that you can do in order to speed up. And after each and every dr drill, I do one stride. So those who do not know what stride is, stride is you have to run fast. But these are not sprints. You will not go all out. So I'll run fast, roughly up to if I am doing these strides after my uh, these ABC exercises, I'll do it for like roughly thirty to forty meter. I'll run fast and I'll then fade out. Then I'll do the another exercise, another ABC exercise, 
and I'll again run fast up to 30 to 40 meters, then I'll fade out. So that's how I do. That these exercises help in speeding up. Or while you are doing some speed workout, or whenever I am racing, I do these drills before my races as well. So these helps in you know tuning up my full body plus tuning up my speed muscles as well because you need those speed muscles activated speed muscles on the race day that these exercises you can add too moving on to next is last but not the least this is like very important part runners generally uh, miss this thing especially those who are new and even experienced runners uh, so last but not the least is rest and recovery see guys i tell this often that rest is a part of workout not not a day off from the workout so take your rest very much seriously and fulfill purpose of each and every workout so i have seen so many runners what they do on their easy days they go fast let's take this example i'm starting my week with an off then i have an easy day for the tune-up and then i'll have one speed workout day so what runners especially amateur runners what they do they are starting after a break they, on their easy day, they'll go fast. And when they have their speed work, they will feel tired. So don't do that. Train wisely. Yeah. Once you approach it in this way, you your running journey will become interesting and you will see some results. And that's how you make it a lifestyle. I hope you like this video. And let me know in the chat box, which is your favorite workout. So my favorite workout is, I love speed work a lot. Uh, so this is Shan signing off. I'll see you in my another video.